multiple personalities and multiple outlets for sucking up the cash. She's Maria, the provincial mm -hmm. girl to you. She's Angela, the city girl to the next guy. Hi guys, your girl is back with another interesting video I know you all are going to love to watch. First of all, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing great. Today there is another amazing day and I'm going to be reacting on this particular video title, 9 Ways to Spot a Scammer in the Philippines. This video is going to be an educating one, so it might interest you to watch it to the end because you are going to learn one or two things to add in your daily lives. So without wasting much of your time guys, let's dive into this video. Watch it together and react on it as usual, okay? Hi folks, the Filipina P here. And today I want to talk about an issue that faces anyone who meets a Filipina online. And that's a lot of you. Now I really didn't want to make this video right now and I'll be doing more on the subject later. But I've been blown away by the emails I've been getting from you folks. So I thought I should speak out about it right away. So many of you have contacted me about your online relationships with Filipinas and your questions usually revolve around one subject, money. How much should you give her? How can you tell if she's being honest? Yeah. Why does she need so much? The things I've heard make me want to reach through the screen and smack some sense into you. Exactly. So to prevent other people from winding up in your situation, I thought I'd give you a brief lesson on how to spot a scammer. Now, I really thought all this stuff was kind of common sense, but I don't think many of you get it. So yeah. let me give you a recent example. One of my subscribers contacted me because he was starting to get a funny feeling about the Filipina he's been chatting with for almost a year. He met her on a popular dating site that many of you guys use and have used it myself. And she really seemed interested in him. Yeah, she asked him for little things like load for her phone, but it wasn't a big deal and he was happy yeah. to be the hero and help her out. Mm -hmm. But as time went on, She'd somehow convince him to send her 400 bucks a month and was starting to complain that even that wasn't enough. Wow. Her affections had cooled too and she wasn't talking with him but once every few days. There was also a lot of chatter on her Facebook account. Stuff he couldn't read. He felt like he was losing her, so he turned to me. After I got all the details of the relationship and thought I had a good grasp of what was going on, I decided to dive into her Facebook to see what I could turn up. I speak five different Filipino dialects so I can translate all those confusing messages that appear on a Filipina's Facebook page. For example, Buguo ani niya oy? Gipakita lang nako akong suso niya iya gihatag nako na kwarta kay balor sa usa ka tuig na sweldo kung nanarbaho ko. That's the Cebuano dialect. Or Gasinian iya ginhatag ha ak para ha load. Diri hiya maaram ginpalit ko hin unom ka butilya hin beer para han ak uyab. That was in Waray. And mas marami akong naging afam kumpara wow. sa bilang nang naging kaarawan ko. It's really good the language. That was in Tagalog. So anyway, I went digging through her Facebook and I quickly saw that she listed her status as single and was flirting with a bunch of other guys some of whom she was getting money from and she was especially proud of her lesbian lover i told my subscriber what i'd found and confident that i helped him dodge a bullet matrix style still this guy wouldn't listen insisting that what they had was special and i must have made a mistake now i'm not gonna name yeah. names but you know who you are steve oops i bet you're listening to my voice right now and I bet you're still sending her money, aren't you? Exactly. Money that you work hard for. Money exactly. that you might need later in life. Money that you could leave to your kids. You can lead a horse to water, mm -hmm. but you can't make him think. You're being sold an image, a dream that's all a lie. And even when you know it cognitively, many of you still won't give up the illusion. This has become an industry, folks, milking you guys for millions wow. of dollars every year. And these scammers are giving us name. honest Filipinas a bad name and poisoning the well between foreigners looking for good mates and the Yay. good women looking to meet them. And I hate to say it, but you guys are partially to blame. 
You know how sometimes you go to a national park and you see a sign that says, don't feed the monkeys? There's a reason. Well, there's a reason for that. Because if you feed the monkeys, they get used to you feeding them and they start crowding around you, grabbing at your stuff. The same thing is true when you throw money at these scammers. It no only thing. encourages more of them. Don't feed the scammers. I mean, hey, if you're going to just blow your wad like that, how about visiting my PayPal link, save yourself all the drama, and just dump it in there. At least it will go to a good cause that's helping your fellow Westerners. I'm almost ashamed to admit it, but I've known Filipinas who made a comfortable living off scamming and laugh at how stupid you all are. Now, of course, I'm not saying that every Filipina who asks you for money is automatically a scammer. This is already a desperately poor country mm -hmm. with things made even worse by the economic shutdown. But what I would suggest to you folks is that unless you have some verifiable way to ensure that your That's money so is cool. going where you think it is, or at mm -hmm. least have a gut feeling that things are on the level, don't send anyone a single peso yeah. until you meet them. And even then, you should be very, very careful, my friends. So anyway, let's get right into it and look at the nine ways these scammers operate, shall we? The drive-by. This one's not very smart, and she'll ask you for money within two minutes of chatting with you. She figures that if she can talk to 20 guys in 60 minutes and just one of you falls for it, she'll be doing great. Mm -hmm. She's the easiest one to spot and the easiest one to avoid. The milkmaid. She'll suck you dry little by little with constant small mm -hmm. fees and expenses from a new battery for her phone to the birth control pill she yeah. doesn't take. It's never enough to make you think you're being taken for a ride, but add up the total and you'll realize you've been ridden hard and hung up wet. The chain store. She's got multiple Facebook accounts, mm -hmm. multiple personalities, and multiple outlets for sucking up the cash. She's Maria, mm -hmm. the provincial girl to you. She's Angela, the city girl to the next guy. This one's got quite a business going, like a shady chain of bad fast food restaurants. Yeah. She'll serve you whatever you want, but you're gonna end up sick and broke. The hit and run. Her brother just swallowed a poisonous frog. Her mom needs an appendectomy yeah. for the third time. There's always a medical emergency with wow. this girl. And when she hits you with it, it's gonna cost you big time. She'll be back for more if she can get the box, but hopefully she'll wait a while between calamities. The videographer. She'll film her pathetic surroundings to pluck your heartstrings, showing you the damage to her house caused by the latest typhoon, yeah. while skipping over the PS4 and the big screen TV in the corner that the other guy bought her. Yes, she's a smart one. She's not just gonna text you about it, she's gonna make sure you see it, because she knows that a picture's worth a thousand words, or in your case, a thousand bucks. The snowballer. Yeah. She'll start by asking for little things that don't amount to much, like load for her phone yeah, or a little I'm bit bigger. for food. But gradually, the requests get bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Till suddenly, she's asking for a new roof on her family's house or an expensive operation for dad. She knows you've already invested thousands on her. So it's time to make your wallet really bleed or you'll lose everything you invested in. You're in for a penny, in for a pound, and she's betting your bank account weighs a lot of pounds. The sugar baby. She'll be all yours, body and soul. She'll text you nonstop and dedicate her Facebook page, one of them anyway, to you and only you, in exchange for your full support, including living expenses, clothing, and bar hopping with her friends, all for only 500 bucks per month with 0% interest and no money down, tax tag and title not included. The chameleon. She comes across as plain and waits to figure out what you're looking for. <laughs> Want a religious girl? She goes to church every Sunday. Wow. Looking for an open-minded Filipina? The naked pics are on the way. Want a provincial girl? What a coincidence! She climbs coconut trees and eats balut. Now she that is ready. impressive. The chameleon is whatever you want her to Ooh. be until she's got one hand on your heart and the other on your wallet. The scammer extraordinaire. She's mm -hmm. sneaky, smart, and willing to wait years to build a fake relationship. This is the one you gotta watch out for. She's intelligent enough to know what you want, what you expect, and what she can get away with. She might not even ask any money from you in the beginning, 
and you mm-hmm. won't even know what hit you till you realize it's the door hitting you in the butt. As she kicks you out of the house, you just bought her. She's hard as hell to detect, mm-hmm. but if you investigate her past, you'll probably find she's done it before. So that's it for now, folks. The nine mm-hmm. kinds of scammers and their bag of tricks. I can point them out to you, but it's up to you to make sure you don't get fooled again. Exactly. If you're thinking of sending money to a Filipina you just met online, remember that she survived before she met you, and chances are she'll be just fine long exactly. after you're gone. So do the right thing. Don't feed the scammers. Till next time. Honestly, like, what is wrong with the guys? Why is it that men are easily carried away by beauty? You met this girl online. You guys have been chatting online. You haven't seen this person for the first time. Not even a video call. And then you are busy sending money. Oh my God. Is it because she sent you a beautiful photos, a beach body photos? And then you are carried away. Guy, if you want to get those kind of photos, go on go go. What's up? Go on go go. Be wise. You haven't seen this girl. And yet she started crying. Oh, my mom is sick. My dad is dead. We need money for funeral. And then you want to bury the dad for her because you love someone you haven't seen. Oh my gosh. You guys need to be careful out there. Don't be carried away. Use your brain. Don't let your body use you. I'm going to be stopping here for today. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section. See you all on my next one. Bye.